Meanwhile, the chief spokesman of the APC presidential campaign council, Mr. Festus Kiamo, and director of media and publicity, Mr. Bayo Ononuga, have reacted to the alleged plan of the Atiku Okowa presidential campaign to seek a court's uh, disqualification of the APC presidential candidate, Boletunobu, over alleged links with drug dealings. Now, reacting to the PDP's counter moves, uh, Kiamo, in a chat with the media, said the main opposition party lacks uh, originality. He also challenged Atiku to address uh, issues of whether whistleblowing by uh, Michael Achimogo, who swore to an oath, and whether Atiku made a scandalous conversation on how he and the former president of Obasanjo set up uh, SPVs such as Marine Float to steal public money. And the Supreme Court on Tuesday dismissed the four appeals that emanated from the Ogun State uh, People's Democratic Party governorship legal battle. The appeal instituted by one of the governorship aspirants, uh, Otuba Jibilawal, and some war delegates were dismissed on the grounds that the appellants have no cause of action. Justice uh, Koderat Kikiriakon leading a panel of uh, five justices dismissed the appeal following their withdrawals by the respective lawyers. The Apex Court also held that the law is clear and only an aspirant in a primary election are conducted for the purpose of nominating candidates for election can lawfully challenge the outcome and not any other member of the party. The wife of the presidential candidate of uh, the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, Titi Abubakar, has eulogized the effort of women in electioneering and urged Southwest women to support her husband to become the nation's president. Titi Atiku stated this in a battle at the Southwest female town hall meeting, which was held uh, in Ibadan, or your state's uh, capital. The wife of uh, Nigeria's uh, former vice president, Ajia Amina Titi Abubakar, described her husband as the most qualified, who, according to her, possesses the acuity to turn around the fortunes of Nigeria for good. of the PDP said the essence of the town hall meeting was to showcase the leadership potentials of women. Olujimi, I'm senator representing Ekiti South, citizen them so that they know that this time around everybody must shine their eyes. We must be alert. We must ensure that every vote counts. We've been working very hard and as you will notice when we had our rally in um, Ibadan, a few days back, the, uh, all the PDP officials were there. The party is solidly united behind Alaji Atiku Abubakar. The state uh, chairman was there. All the ex school were there. All the three uh, candidates for the Senate were there. 14 House of Rep candidates were there. The entire PDP was there. Uh, I agree, uh, Engineer Sheimakide was not there. Well, you know what it means is uh, one person and he gave his assent for the party to unite behind the presidential candidate. And everywhere that he goes on campaign, he says that the people should please vote PDP from top to bottom. So yes, there's still some issues probably to be ironed out at the highest level, but the party is already united behind all the PDP candidates. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.